agent pressure. Watch out. Yep. <laughs> 
Incoming threat.
Finally done. I can finally leave. Ellen, my sweetie. Oh. Hell has been conquered, folks. Hell has been conquered. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. I was so, so iffy going into this with barely any shield resoniums. And, and I only have only like one dodge resonium, not even with Shadowcock. I was so scared I couldn't do that, but fucking A, I did it. Just pure damage, baby. Pure damage and pure skill. Carries you all the way. Holy shit. Oh my god, that is actually great. Oh my god. It is finally over, chat. It is finally over. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, that is so, 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 so good. Let me save that before I, like, lose it or something. It is finally over. I've conquered extreme intensity, withering garden at long, long last. I'm sorry I did not do it on stream, but holy damn, man. Oh, it feels good to have it completed. It feels fucking great to have it finally done. We're not even getting an achievement for that. No achievement for completing it on 11-11 at all, bro. Seriously, is there like no special thing for completing on 11-11 on other than, you know, the artifact thing? Well, that's kind of disappointing, but hey, I conquered it. I fucking conquered it and I beat it fair and fucking square. Oh my goodness. Oh, yep. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Ether activity 11 first clear reward. I am done. I am out of here. I am never coming back. Oh my goodness, it took so long to do. And it was just a... I'll just let you guys know, this was just a random whim. This was just a random whim I decided to like play this on. I was just like, eh, maybe I'll give it another shot, see how well I make progress into it. And then I just decided to go full crit build, full freeze build, and then it, it just worked somehow. I guess I just... Yeah, I just got good at dodging. I fought the Ninvas so many times that I finally managed to just read their moveset. Although at the end, uh, <laughs> I, it was cutting it a bit close with Ellen's solo at the end there. But holy damn, it is done, my fellow Americans. It is done. Oh. Oh. Okay, now that is finished. Now the only thing I have left to do is uh, try and clear... Um, node 8 of the disrupted node uh who knows when that will come into play though who knows when i'll conquer that but uh, for the meantime at least i'm uh, i'm satisfied i conquered brethren garden 11 11. oh man also i should just say that yeah my characters are half built by the way ellen is the only one ascended out of any of these guys 
I have I, I can't ascend Sukaku because I'm broke. I can't ascend Juyan because I'm broke. And Lycon, I can't even get up to level 50 because I'm so poor, dude. Oh my goodness. All right, I just kind of want to do this a uh, quick section here for you guys to just, I don't know, give you guys a hand in case you're struggling with Withering Garden 11, just like I was, and like walk you guys through my thoughts and process and what I was doing throughout the battle and whatnot, just, just in case it does end up helping you guys in the end. But yes, this is my build as of right now. Um, there's not a lot of defenses of Rezoniums here because I wasn't able to pick up on that many during my uh, run there. But yeah, I highly recommend you either go for like shield Rezoniums or dodge Rezoniums, especially if you can encounter Shadowcock, especially get that one. Shadowcock is amazing, but I didn't get it here, unfortunately, but I still managed to prevail nonetheless. I also went for like more damage ones, like mostly like, yeah, you can you probably saw me earlier doing like eight freeze Rezoniums and also eight critical Rezoniums, which also in turn gives you the catalyzed Rezoniums as well for the freeze and uh, critical ones res respectively. Obviously, freeze is not going to be useful if you don't have an ice team, but you could definitely go for like another Rezonium for your current characters like, you know, burning for Soldier 11 or Ether for Zhu Yan. But yeah, I highly recommend you do put in some investment into damage because even though like like defense and shields is very nice and all, if you're making like basically zero progress against a boss then uh that that shield's not gonna last you very long unless you're really really skilled also you know for the sake of time as well like you saw that battle went on for like almost 15 minutes so yeah definitely invest in damage as well as uh defense like shield resoniums and shadowcock you don't need to put in too much into dodge i think shadowcock alone is enough but yeah definitely try and pick up a few shield ones along the way as well as you know main damage ones as well and yeah if you love neither of those i recommend just yeah trying to go for some rezoniums that like give you shields or healing or whatever like for this one for example this b rank rezonium which gives you a shield upon upon performing a perfect assist also yeah imagine you pick up a few energy ones here and there they are certainly helpful because uh, for Lycon and Ellen, they have invincibility frames whenever they use their X special ability. So yeah, try and make use of those uh, invincibility frames as much as you possibly can, of course. And I would also say don't save your burst at all, because in 11.11, your energy and decibels go away as soon as you get hit. So if you have the burst, just use it. Like, buff your character if you must. But yeah, don't try and hoard it until Ninva is stunned, because Ninva is stunned for like half of a second due to the 11-11 uh, debuffs. Now, as for the battle itself, I would try to recommend to kill all the Hornets as soon as you possibly can, because the Hornets are annoying as fuck. I'm not gonna lie. They, they will just attack you when you're not looking at them, and like yeah, once it hits you, it does does a considerable amount of damage. But you can also make use of the Hornets' um like attacks to like to do dodge counters against like Ninve herself or against the Hornets as well. Because you will see in the footage I showed earlier, I was consistently uh, stunning and killing the Hornets because stunning the Hornets gives you a chain attack, and the chain attacks can also be used against Ninve if she's close enough. So. That's just a good way to get some extra damage on her whenever you can pull it off. That is why I highly recommend you bring a stunner into this uh, fight because, yeah, it gets rid of the Hornets pretty easily and it also enables you to use some like, free extra damage against Ninva. But yeah, you saw me struggling a lot in the uh, bullet hail phase. Yeah, that was definitely not uh, the best course of action what I was doing, but I just mainly used Sokako because she's the one with the highest HP. And because I did not want Ellen to die. Ellen was basically my carry for like the entire uh, run. If, and if Ellen went down, then I just restarted the run. Like, yeah, I restarted the battle once when my Ellen died to retry one more time. During that run, it is. I definitely played this a bunch of times at this point. I, I think I played like a good five runs before doing this one and failed all of them miserably. But yeah, studying uh, Ninve's moveset definitely helps because it like allows you to know when to dodge counters and whatnot and when to do the super parry attack against the tornado as you saw earlier because during those attacks is where you can get the highest amount of days on Ninve. And also a little bit of advice I can also give you guys. Um, during the phase where Ninve like takes up the entire field and just like, like blast blowing wind at you and uh, you have to take cover behind the walls in order to like avoid getting one-shotted you can actually do some perfect dodges uh, during that attack to just you know get some extra decibels in there it's not a lot of extra decibels but you know every little bit counts and also the bang boo avocado boo definitely helped out a lot during that run because if you don't know his ability allows him to heal you uh, up to like 15 times per battle i believe and yeah he heals like 500 hp 
which is not a lot, but you know, every bit of hit points count. So yeah, try to pick up those green bubbles dropped by Avocado whenever possible. And yeah, that's basically all the techniques I kind of used in Withering Garden in order to uh, pass it at 11-11 intensity. Hopefully this advice helps you guys out because yeah, uh, Withering Garden 11 is no joke. It's complete hell and it requires like the strongest willpowers in order to beat it. But I wish you guys the best of luck in conquering it and I hope you pass it soon. But yeah, anyways, as for Hollow Zero, fuck this thing, I'm never coming back. Except for when bounties refresh. Also, while you're at it, please hit like and subscribe because it does really help uh, repair my mental sanity after the hell that is Ninva at 11 difficulty. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you guys again in the next video. All right, and without further ado, uh, see you guys in the next one, I suppose. Bye-bye.